So many people are looking for love in all the wrong places. When they have God who loves them so much, He gave Jesus Christ as a sacrifice for our sins so that we may be reconciled to God. So many people looking for love in all the wrong places. And along the way, they get an STD or two. Along the way, they get involved in these interpersonal relationships that they should not be involved in. And when they break up, they get these soul ties ripped apart, even feel suicidal. Foolishness. If you're a homosexual, you need to know that what you're doing is unnatural, perverted, and it's irrational. You need to repent. God loves you so much, he wants you to change so that he doesn't have to say to you on Judgment Day, depart from me, you workers of iniquity, I never knew you. If you're having premarital sex, shame on you. When dogs do what you do, we don't call that love. True love waits until marriage before having sex. God made sex for marriage only, one man and one woman for life, no divorce. So many people are looking for love in all the wrong places, and along the way, there's darkness, confusion, angst, bitterness, and even suicide attempts. You need to be reconciled to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, He, God, made Him, Jesus Christ, to be sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God in Him. You're not good people. You are not good. The Bible says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, who can know it? Some of you are being deceived by your own heart. It's foolishness to follow your heart because your heart will, will lead you into things that are not good for you or for the other person. You need to repent, it's called turning from sin. So many people looking for love in all the wrong places and along the way they get an STD or two Along the way, there's darkness, angst, bitterness, confusion. And these are not of God, but you are reaping what you have sown. It's not karma. Karma is irrational. But God is a person, and God holds persons accountable. And there's a law of sowing and reaping. You will reap what you sow. Eventually, you will reap what you sow. You just look around at this nation today, so many sexual perverts called homosexuals, so many sexual perverts called fornicators that's having premarital sex, so many perverts called uh, people who are addicted to pornography. This has become a nation of perverts. Sexual perverts, irrational people, People have dumbed themselves down because they want to go by a feeling. But if you think feelings are reliable, plug your ears, close your eyes, and wait for a feeling before you cross the street. You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't cross the street just based on a feeling. You wouldn't close your eyes and plug your ears and go across the street based on a feeling. Yet, you go through other aspects of life based on feelings. How stupid is that? It's irrational. Feelings are not a rational substance. Feelings come and go. Often people don't even know the source of their feelings. You're gonna have two people watching the exact same movie, reacting totally different, having different emotive experiences in that same movie. Feelings are an irrational substance. You need to go by the Bible, the Holy Word of God. You need to go by rationality, evidence, the revelation of God. Stop the foolishness. Oh, you're in college, big deal. A lot of dumb people go to college. They get passed along in college because the university is after their money. You know, I went to college over 30 years ago. I can't believe how much it's been dumbed down. It's been dumbed down quite a bit. Most of the universities and colleges are nothing but glorified high schools. The Bible says the beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Okay. Don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. The Bible says understand what the will of the Lord is. 
Some of you have no idea. Man, you go to church, but that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't prove anything. Lots of people go to church, yet they're not Christians. They're not saved. They give God lip service, but God wants heart service. It's time to turn from your wicked ways. You are not good. The Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? We see this throughout this nation today, how people who think they're good are really wicked as can be. The homosexuals, the people who are divorced and remarried. Jesus said, if you divorce and remarry, you commit adultery. What? You can't keep your vow to your spouse? Shame on you. You're the lowest of the low. In fact, you're worse than a homosexual. You can't keep your vow to your spouse? Jesus said, let your yes be yes and your no, no. Whatever is more than these is of the evil one. This is a nation of covenant breakers. This is a nation of people who are high on themselves, but low on morality.